Kenya is experiencing changes in its weather patterns, particularly shifts in the timing and length of rainy seasons. This has led to more droughts and floods, which means scarce, scattered and unpredictable pastures. These changes have increased the vulnerability of pastoralist households whose livelihoods depend on livestock like goats, cows and camels. Mandera is one of those counties in Kenya that experience extreme weather patterns and is much affected by drought. When that happens, residents are left without pasture for their animals for prolonged periods. When drought strikes here, first of all, the, the, the people lose their major source, or their major asset which provides their livelihood, which is uh, livestock, which uh, die in greater numbers. And uh, to address the issue of uh, lack of fodder due to, drought, due to, to drought, people have to walk for long distances to find fodder. And the time they get there and find there too is also dry and uh, they end up losing their livelihood totally. Abdi Agalo recalls walking miles and miles to the neighboring country of Ethiopia with over 100 cows in search of pasture, only to return home with 15. Every time there was drought, we had to migrate with our animals to other places in search of pasture. At times we were forced to buy fodder from traders in Nairobi and other parts of the country. Ismail too has been a victim of the unforgiving drought. We moved with all our animals to Ethiopia hoping to find pasture, but we came back poorer as most of the animals starved to death. Since I joined this project, I have not moved again. I'm here with all my livestock. Today, Abdiya is not worried at all about fodder for her livestock, even during dry seasons. She has plenty in store, something that was unheard of a few years back. Thanks to the interventions by Adra Kenya to help residents restore degraded land in Takaba and Dandu divisions of Mandera, farmers like Abdiya can now produce and preserve enough fodder for future use while conserving the environment. We have received so much knowledge from Adra that for the last two seasons we've been the ones selling grass to others. Through the Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration, which is a, a land restoration uh, technique, uh, we have managed to restore uh, an approximate of 10,000 acres of uh, uh, degraded land, uh, thereby giving beneficiaries an opportunity for more fodder, which in turn would lead to increased milk production. At the inception of the project, the average milk production per household was approximately two liters. As the project grew towards the end, the production per household increased to seven liters per household, which is a great improvement. If not for this fodder, all my livestock would be dead by now. Adra Kenya has strengthened resilience and adaptive capacity to climate change for many households here in Mandera West through the Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration Program, FMNR. 1,000 households were targeted. Most of them have expressed satisfaction and many more have embraced the practices after tasting the fruits.